forgot to make a recording of my sphere, so I'm going to do another one. We are going to imagine that on one side is our light source and the other is our shadow. And I'm going to draw where I want my shadow to be on this. It's like a really outstretched oval that overlaps, goes under there. All right. And I'm going to imagine that my light source is over here casting a light onto my round object. So I'm going to do light curve strokes that go up alongside light pressure at first. I like to put a little circle here, start to make things look curvy. When I draw with little curves, it's gonna make things look more three-dimensional. And when we do this light, the white oil pastel that I'm gonna put on top of it later is going to pick up all of that nice blue oil pastel, any color that you put down, it's going to blend it together. I have to make sure that there's no black on this. I just realized that there might be, so I'm starting to see some. So make sure your oil pastel is clean when you're starting a new color. And now that I'm in the middle, I'm going to start doing a heavier pressure. Still in a way I'm doing hatching lines, but they are just curved now. So this is a nice way when you make the strokes, it's going to heavily apply the oil pastel along on this project. I'm going to fill it in on the sides, on the middle, on the bottom, still doing this motion of the curves because with oil pastels you can see every single stroke and now I'm going to start with the white I'm going to add the black last so the white is going to start picking up all of that blue and I'm just going back and forth with a rocking motion and I'm starting to pick up more blue sections going to make the swirl right here to represent where that ball is at blend that in do it around the top part if it looks like it's getting too blue too colorful you can wipe off some of that blue i think i just put some green on it because my paper towel is getting dirty and if you ever mess up you can take your fingernail and remove some of that color and then put your next color that you want your desired color right on top of it so I'm just blending that white in. Usually in oil pastels, the white will go really quickly. It'll disappear fast because people use it to over blend and make things have a nice light color. So if you run out of your white oil pastel, let me know. We'll try to find you another. So I try not to overuse my white oil pastel. Definitely don't lose it. So I think that's enough white. Then I'm going to take my blue and blend over some parts that I added the white because it takes layers. It's getting a lot smoother now. Feels more like paint. I'm not smearing with my finger. I'm going to let all those strokes be visible. If you smear it with your finger, sometimes people take off all that color. I need this to shift subtly from the light blue to the medium blue to the dark blue. Now I'm going to add in my dark blue by adding some black on here. I'm adding it right on top of my blue and as you can see it's like disappearing it's taking all of that blue you can't see it anymore so I'm not putting a lot on it really just looks like a crescent moon shape but when I layer over the blue it's picking up that blue that's underneath it pushing it around swirling it together I'm still going in an arched motion making strokes so that it is allowing the oil pastel to blend together. Now I'm taking up some of that dark and turning it around on the side. I don't have any whites of my paper showing anymore. And you can always shake your paper off and get rid of that junk. Now my last circle was a lot better. I'm going to take the black and make my shadow. We are going to add white to this to make gray. Right along on the sides. You don't have gray in your pastel box, but you can make gray by blending white and black together. White is our tint and black is our shade. So it's not a solid black, but it's good enough. There we go, there's our sphere. So your project should look like this now, nice and complete with a rainbow on top and all of the six sections filled in and your name on it and turn it into canvas please have a good day